Hi, how are you going? My name is Josie. I'm the Youth Librarian here at the City of West Torrens Hammer Centre Library. Thanks for joining me today for a Team Book Taster. Today uh, I will be introducing you to three books with an entree main and dessert to give you a taste of something new. I hope you like what I have on offer today. So let's get started with um, our first book. Are you ready? Great. First we're going to start off with um, Black Cockatoo. So this one here, Black Cockatoo, and it's brought to us by Magbala um, Press, Magbala Books. It's uh, written by Carl, Mer Carl Merrison and Heikia Hustler. This book, um, as you can see, is a really little morsel of a book and it actually won an honour book for younger readers um, from the Children's Book Council of Australia last year. I thought it was a great book to read as a little taste and um, it's a quick and easy read but gives you a lovely insight into the Indigenous voice of young Mia who's 13. So Mia um, is uh, just discussing something that happens in her life which is she gets to take care of the black cockatoo, which is actually her totem. So she comes across an injured one and it um, helps her to discover her own identity and explore some of the issues in her life. So she has an older brother who's moving away emotionally growing up and this is a little bit of her journey in discovering her own identity and her own strength. And I thought it was a nice little taste of um, someone who's living an Indigenous life and understanding things about their own culture um, in a very accessible way for all of us. Um, it does say um, she explores her fragile connections with her family and her own inner strength. That's how it describes itself. I'll give you a little taste. Your father, your father spotted that bin Gijari in the shrub and looked at him. As the spear flew through the air, the breeze caught our smell and that bin Gijara took flight, disturbing some Duran, that's a Duran, where the hunting, that were hunting on the ground. The spear hit a Duran and killed him. You have his mark, Mia. Between your shoulder blades, the Duran is, Duran is your totem, your Jarinyi totem. Mia's hand automatically went to touch the birthmark between her shoulders. She was fascinated. Maybe this would be why she had been drawn to save the Duran and risk so much. So that's a little insight into the background of why she has this totem and her connection with the black cockatoo and what happens next. Hope you like that one. Um, nice easy read. Then the next one I have for our main, something a bit more, in fact, two books, um, and I'll tell you why in a moment. The first one is uh, called Brontide, and um, this is by Sue McPherson, and uh, Sue's also written another book called Grace Beside Me. And I thought they were both great uh, examples of hearing Indigenous voice in youth fiction. Uh, the first one brought to us by um, Magbala Books again is um, Sue's uh, gone to a, a country town to a school. She's doing a, a storytelling workshop and she interviews these four boys. So this is actually the dialogue of that interview. So it's a conversational style, Sue asking them questions and them answering. So it's a bit of a different kind of a book. Um, but it gives you a really great insight into the authentic voices of those boys who are aged between uh, 12 and finishing year 12. Uh, one of the boys is Indigenous, 
One is a white boy who's living with an Indigenous family and the other two are white boys. It's very um, frank, sometimes a bit rude, because it's actually the conversation or that transcript from those boys. And it's um, really, really interesting to see their world through their eyes. It has a tragedy in this book um, and it is a bit of a coming of age story. So if you want to hear some male voices, this is a really different kind of read and a nice short easy one too because it's in transcript style between the characters talking to each other. Now Sue's other book that I've picked out for you today is the opposite of that. It's a girl's voice. So it's, um, what's her name? I've forgotten. Grace? No, she's Fuzzy Mac. Fuzzy Mac has changed her name to Fuzzy Mac. That's why I had to quickly think what it was because it wasn't that originally. And this is her narration of her life. So again, it's another sort of discovering life as a 13 year old girl with an indigenous background and understanding the cultural heritage that she has with a mixed um, lineage. And so it's quite interesting from the different perspectives of having the Irish and the um, Koolree and lots of different aspects to culture there and her voice. Um, she won the State Library of Queensland Indigenous Writing Competition Award for this book and it has um, lots of great reviews. So if you're interested in hearing the girls side of things, this is um, Grace Beside Me. And of, with that title, you can see there's, you know, obviously some feel good stuff in there, Grace being the quality of Grace. So Sue McPherson, um, another Magbala book. So those two, that's your main today. And the last one as our dessert is this one called Dougie by James Maloney. As you can see, I've got the um, audio book for you. So that one, um, I won't be giving you any reading from. In fact, I have got to give you one from Grace. Um, Dougie is a part of a trilogy, so the story of Dougie, Gracie and the friend of Gracie, Angela, and set in a country town, they're an indigenous brother-sister, Doug, Dougie and Gracie. Dougie describes himself as pretty much a nobody and he's discovering himself with quite low self-esteem. His sister, on the other hand, Gracie, is a talented runner and um, she does really well with her running, but the underlying currents in the township of racial discrimination and Aboriginal stereotyping create a lot of havoc um, when a few events trigger off this underlying tension. So it's an interesting study into racial issues and how the underlying, underlying current, the underlying philosophy of what's going on can uh, rise up in difficult times, which is really um, quite pertinent at the moment, sadly, very sadly. Um, in this, Dougie has to discover himself and um, in a very difficult situation, make some good of what happens. And there's a lot of discussion around black entitlements, a white um, feeling of jealousy and yeah, that whole undercurrent of um, racial tension is interwoven into a very easy to read and explore book with Dougie's voice at the centre of it and I highly, highly recommend the audio book which has a reading by Peter Hardy. His voice is so authentic as Dougie and um, some of the reviews I've read of the actual book are a bit mixed in terms of finding it a bit boring because it's a slow moving story um, but um, I think if you listen to the audio book you definitely won't feel like that because it's it's really awesome to hear um, Peter's voice being Dougie and um, I highly recommend grabbing an audio book as a way of just escaping into the story and really getting into the character's voice and hearing their thoughts in a different way to your own voice. So grab an audio book for your car or your bedside or into your computer. Um, we have Playways and um, the CD versions available here at the library. If you like any of those books that I've talked to you about today, 
please place them on hold through the Public Library catalogue. We'd love you to borrow as much as you can and you can download books from Libby and have a look and see if they're there to download onto your own device as well. Until we see you again, we look forward to seeing you in the library now that we can um, be open for 20 people at a time to come in and do a browse and borrow, come in and see us, or place your items on hold and come and collect them from our click, call and collect. All right, happy reading. Thanks for joining me again today. See you next time.